Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. y'all spent a lot of time together, I'm sure. Yeah, so yeah, that's we do. That, that's why it felt longer. Because y'all had so much time invested in that mm -hmm. year. Beautiful. I 16 love months or whatever. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Damn, Good okay. We know each other. Yeah, the first, what, few months, though, it was just, she was super busy, I was super busy, so we barely saw each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had to have a talk. Like, the first two months, I was like, okay, you nice and all, but <laughs> mm, you need to make <laughs> some time or, Facts. you know. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, can keep it moving so, out here. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. <laughs> And I then look, he, you got right. That's all that matters. You're exactly. here today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. At the time I started the tow truck company, you remember that? Oh, that's and, right. You know, that's I invest right. my time in that. And then dating yeah. and getting work. And, you know, it's just a lot. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a fact. So what are some of, like, those complications that you guys uh, ran into during your relationship or stuff like that? Just because, like, you guys are coming from two different cultures. So, like, the culture clash thing is going to be... Is like huge, you know what I mean? Or was it, or was I mean, it even a easy. huge thing? But even it at hasn't the end of the been day, bad. It's just yeah. You know, yeah, trying to mesh it, especially like talking about planning a wedding, right? Like, oh, yeah. like does each culture take into it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, even in the beginning, I mean, obviously we all come in with our our biases, so it's like okay, that's a fact. All right, he's Arab. What that mean? You know, is he gonna be? So I swiped, but I was like, okay, I had an open mind to see yeah. what it's gonna to. be about. So. And it was definitely, like, not what everybody says, not ever what everybody thinks. Well, everybody it usually is experiences yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I'm definitely working, have to get to I know. Mean, people get this, but I'm working against a lot of stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what are some of the stereotypes? Because I don't even know. Well, well, maybe what's one that, like, you guys were each expecting of the other that wasn't true? I think that's some tea yeah. there. <laughs> I don't know that I went in with any stereotypes in my mind, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. I just know, like... I had, <laughs> that face. I had sure did. <laughs> like, you yeah, like I chicken, mean, don't you? No. <laughs> watermelon, Kool Aid. The first dinner I cooked for her was chicken and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> really? She didn't come. Yeah, she I didn't go. <laughs> no, I don't. It was a seafood dinner, but uh, whatever. Yeah. So I went in. I don't know if you guys know. Arabs have a huge stereotype for being very controlling. And oh I yeah, yeah that's true. I didn't oh, like no. in relationships, um, telling the woman. Just a lot, like what you can and can't wear, what you can and can't do, where you can go, who you with, that, all that jazz. So I'm working against this mm -hmm. um, stereotype. I'm very go with the flow, but there are times where I have to catch myself. Where I'm like, am I really upset about this? Or is it because I'm Arab that I'm upset about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's like, I know this is how everybody in my Arab community should say I step in, but you're like, am I just yeah. bugging for no reason? Yeah. So yeah. You're, just, yeah. you're working against these stereotypes. And then some of them, like, are how you feel, but you got to think about, is it cultural? Because you were both raised against two separate sets of rules. So to mm. her, Facts. Right. it's not wrong. Um, but like culturally for me, it's like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. that's completely left field. Yeah. It was, it was hard. It was an adjustment because, you know, I'm coming from single mom, you know, independent mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. vibe. So mm -hmm. I'm like... Was it All difficult right, to know, let him like kind of take care of you and be there for you? I mean, it, that's always difficult. Yeah. Like with any any relationship, no matter what culture, when you're coming from, you know, I, I work, you right. know, I do for myself. So it's like that's an adjustment. But to add that cultural piece on top of it, um, but with him, he's definitely like not what the cultural biases mm. are. So it was not that hard. But in some instances. You do have to give in a little bit. Right. And so that was something that I was just working on, you know, with myself. So True. to add the cultural part onto it was an adjustment, but we definitely. Not impossible. Yeah, right? not impossible. Mm -hmm. So how's this wedding going to go? What, because you just, Arab has like, I'm sure like a traditional wedding. What are some of the things well, that happen in. All I know, I have one request <laughs> and that's we're going to do a dep kit. All, my, all me and my groomsmen are going to do a dep kit, which is a traditional. Um, I feel like I've dance. seen this dance on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. not on YouTube, on like Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's what's where everybody's like this. Yeah. They're just going ham. Like, what's, the, what's the time marker? Cue the video, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely add that in here. Yeah, because I'm oblivious. Because I yeah. think I've seen it. I just don't know what it is. Yeah. So all Arabs know what it looks like, but none of them really know how to do it. Mm. So one person kind of like leads, unless you're like an old head. The okay. old head Arabs. Know exactly what's happening. Know exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Our generation is like, oh, 
uh, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so the first person and the second person got it 100% right. They're the ones leading the group. Gotcha. Everyone okay. else behind them just kind of... Just following suit. <laughs> they, they don't know what's being choreographed or what's happening. Mm. So we're about to have lessons for like four months. Damn. Damn. Okay. Right before the wedding so we can so, have a so it's, so, so it's already fluent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Time, do, y'all, do y'all know where the wedding's going to be at? Is it going to be in North Carolina? No. We are thinking of having a wedding in my hometown, Charleston. Okay. South Carolina, Beautiful you know, city. take it back to the mm. roots. That's my mm. hometown. So Geechee. No, yes, that are you Southern Geechee? Geechee. What is Geechee? What is it? It's a dialect. Mm-hmm. It's a way of it's like a culture, our own little okay. culture down in the low country. It's Charleston. not is it does it have anything to do with like Caribbean? I'll, every time Isn't I hear Geechee, African? I think Caribbean. Gullah Geechee, right? Yeah, Gullah Geechee. It's like our Basically, when the slave trade and all that stuff happened, yeah, a lot a of people from Charleston. the Caribbean yeah. were dropped in. Like Charleston was a major. Slave, it was a major port. Yeah, it yeah, was a major yeah. port. So, um, that's where the Gullah Geechee. So it's like parts of South Carolina, mm-hmm. Georgia, those areas, the real low country. So. Yeah, yeah, closer oh, to the. Okay. Yeah, closer gotcha. to the coast. Okay. That's crazy because in Charleston, where they had like the slave market, we've been quite a few times. So yeah. I, reckon, I love Charleston. Yeah, yeah you been. always talk about it. I've never been there. And awesome. um, that's where Charlotte is. Like he talks about it. Yeah, well, it's yeah. near Charleston. Monk's Corner. He's yeah, Monk's which Corner, is but near. Yeah, yeah. Charleston. yeah but where he the always slave talks about market it. was, now it's just like this flea market type thing. It's like well, the most sell, surreal. Like, for real. It's just so weird. Yeah, they sell goods, jewelry, like. Damn. Different things now. It's so like, you were down there. So you're from born and raised down there. Yeah, I was born. I was born down there, and I moved to Raleigh, the Raleigh area, when I was like 13. So gotcha. I still okay. consider Charleston home, right. but oh, yeah. I was raised here in Raleigh. Yeah. Damn. Life. Okay. So mm-hmm. now you say Gullah Geechee. Is that where Gullah Gullah Island was from? Yeah. I'm trying to put all this shit no, together is, right now. No, it is. It um, is yeah, linked it, to that. Gullah, is that what that was? Yeah. Oh. Near mm-hmm. that area. Yeah. Connection. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> for real, <laughs> though. I mean, I'm like, you yeah, know, was we that was, a kid show that I was here. on top of? Like, okay, yeah, so exactly. I've been about that Geechee that life. <laughs> Lord, exactly. <laughs> Binyan, Binyan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not Binyan, Binyan. Shout out to Gullah Gullah Island. I had no idea I was getting influenced by the Geechee. You should hear how when her mom calls. How they start talking that to each dialogue. other. Oh, yeah, it, it just, just comes out. Yeah. Have you been around Lauren before? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Where he just switches up. The uh, yeah, just comes out. Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, Lauren switches so quick. Yeah, yeah. Too, yo. it's it happened like it's he gets, almost he like gets a that phone black, call like code switch. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's natural. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like okay, hold on, I gotta talk to you. Wait, wait, my mom's calling. Shut up. I love you, Lauren. Exactly. I'm from the islands too. <laughs> yeah, he's from the islands. Wait, do you Saint you don't, you don't switch to with your mom, right? Uh, not kind heavily. Of, not really. Yeah, and our accent isn't as rough as like Jamaicans. True, there, theirs yeah. is more Saint rough Thomas. than West Indian. You know? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it makes me wonder if that's how people feel when I switch to Arabic, which I'm sure it is. It's just. I'm glad yeah. I worked at the airport, man, because I used to think Arabic sounded so crazy, but I was around it for two and a half years. It yeah. is so normal to me. I'm yeah. like, trying. Really? Like, hearing Arabic to me is like hearing somebody speak Spanish. Like, that shit don't phase me oh, at all. Like, yeah. it's whatever. Like, yeah. I'm so used to it just because right. everybody just that we hearing it. it. <laughs> Um, oh, you're about to die? Not, oh, okay. Not well, do it on air. Watch. Do it, do it on, on air. Watch. <laughs> I have a question. At least the camera's rolling. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us the alibi right now. Yeah. Right. Tell us the, uh, you know, the whole process 